The BBC has run an article today about visa applications and visa sharks, people who are providing fake sponsorship certificates which are easily identified by the Home Office and which are being sold for astronomical amounts of money. And then the individuals, the students or whatever, are out of money and unable to claw back the money which has been taken fraudulently. The BBC have chased up some of these frauds, have named them, uh, and uh, some of these people are saying, oh no, no, we've done nothing wrong, and we've contacted a lawyer, and we're, or we're returning the money. It doesn't really matter. The point is that the paperwork which is demanded by the Home Office, as indeed is demanded by so many other companies, YouTube isn't much better, is so complex. We know there's a particular uh, question which is being asked, but we don't all know what that question is. And the evasive um, forms are, are, are ripe for um, these fraudulent organizations, whether these be YouTube, uh, Google management, or whether these be uh, uh, people, uh, companies in Uzbekistan or Pakistan or India or wherever. The, the fault, the real fault, is in the complexity of these forms. If you want information, just be direct and ask for that information. Uh, instead, the information has to be not only provided in a format that the bureaucrats want or have got used to accepting uh, with various uh, codes which unless you've been doing this on a routine basis you cannot possibly know and the questions are bizarre bizarre and it's so easy to fall into a trap Anybody who's done a PIP document will know that this isn't straightforward. And this is where these middlemen and these sharks and these fraudsters come in. The Home Office sets the standard for this sort of abusive and coded language. And, and that's the point. It is coded and it is abusive. And we 